Good evening. Such a terrible news that's happening right now. Donald Trump un under the hands of, you know, Rex Tillerson and his son-in-law, George, Jared Kushner, forcing him to bomb Syria and there's his history. I want to tell you something that what's happening in Syria happened back then in Serbia. I want to remind everyone because of course while listening to the Savage Nation uh, Michael Savage's first words in the show this Tuesday of course it's Wednesday here in the Pacific but but in America hours ago it's Thursday, it's a Thursday night Thursday afternoon night Michael Savage mentioned that Tillerson's war on Syria is, was just like what happened back in Serbia stealing Kosovo stealing Kosovo from the Serbs and Michael Savage said it was the worst 78 days of his life and you know the war criminals then Madeleine Albright, Bill Clinton, Javier Solano Solano? Solano Wesley Clark, guess it. George Soros funded it. George Soros hates Christians. And Rex Tillerson imitating what Bill Clinton did. Well, as we all know, he's now the shadow president of America. It's not anymore Donald Trump. Donald Trump is more of a speaker. His emotions were controlled by, guess it. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner and and the Savage Nation Sa Michael Savage pleads to the US President Trump don't go to war with Syria don't listen to the neocons don't listen to the liberal warmongers don't listen to the military industrial complex Farid Zakaya John McCain Lindsey Graham, guess it, and who's and who's next to be kicked out after my General Michael Flynn and Steve Bannon? I don't know. Maybe in my race, in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe when previous they may target they may target him him even if he's Rhino. Who, who knows? And who would want war with Russia? Who on their stupid minds would want war with Russia? Russia is not anymore the Soviet Union. It's the will of the people why they elect Vladimir Putin. It's also by the grace of God they're reviving the Russian Orthodox faith. It's not anymore the atheistic regime fo founded by the Jewish atheist Vladimir Lenin. He's, he's a Jewish but atheist. Russia is not anymore the USSR. I, I will also make a statement right now. I supported Donald Trump during the elections thinking that it will be helpful for Serbia. And it might be also the bridge to Vladimir Putin. Now, it's being under control by Tillerson and Kushner. Like Michael Savage. The one that, the only conservative I listen every night from work. A, a true man of peace who tirelessly worked for one a year or more so to get Trump elected and to make sure Norway, Norway, no war will happen. I'll make a statement. No more wars. Tell President Trump that what he heard about the the sarin gas is fake. It is to draw him to a needless war with Syria and Russia. Bashar al-Assad, not an angel, not an angel, but. 
He's essential to fighting Islamic terrorism. Don't attack him. Destroying his regime will... I don't know what to say more. Destroying him will further the ISIS advance, not just in Syria, but to the rest of Europe. Only dumb people will want war against Assad. No more wars. Look at what happened in Kosovo. Bill Clinton in had Kosovo invaded for oil. Yes, and then George Bush, the dummy, the fake conservative, the the liberal himself, freed the terrorists, gave Kosovo to the Albanians, and now. Kosovo is a transit of Islamic terrorism in, into Europe. Is that what you want? Fake conservatives? Liberal warmongers? Mainstream media? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? War? Stupid. I tell you right now. Very stupid. Those who noted their history are condemned to repeat itself. If you are a true conservative, and if you support Donald Trump, tell him, don't attack our allies, our true allies. Don't have don't have a needless war. Go to war onto the mainstream media. Go on the war to kick out the neocons, the fake conservatives. Go kick out even your own family who would want to lead you into disaster. Donald Trump. It is your family, your so-called friends. They're not your friends. They're your enemies. Listen to Michael Savage, Donald Trump. Listen to the true conservatives, the open-minded liberals. Listen to those who voted for you. Don't listen to warmongers. Don't listen to the liberals. I plead to you. I plead. And also to those who want war. War is stupid okay I'm a, I'm also supporting peace I don't want war just look at what happened in Kosovo when they made the news a phony news they invaded Kosovo on the pretext that Slobo was killing his own people and then the truth was Kosovo has a lot of minerals minerals you can you can search it on the internet I'm tired of doing it you can search it on the internet that there was a lot of reserves in Kosovo and then that's why the, the world powers invaded Kosovo and then stole it from the Serbian people. Now, the Serbian people lost not just a part of their land but also their faith. That's why I'm telling you right now, one of the culprits right now, Rex Tillerson, Jared Kushner. It's not a joke. Just see their actions. And also, see what's going to happen if Donald Trump will listen not to Michael Savage, but to Tillerson on the long run. Disaster will happen. Just like what Bill Clinton did to Kosovo. That's all. I'm, really, I'm really angry right now. I'm also disappointed right now. My prayers every night. No more wars. I'm really sincere. No more wars. I'm I'm, I'm really pressured to do this. It's it's only a small case, small scale activism. But if you'd listen to me, and to to others, most 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 importantly, true conservatives, they don't want war. They want prosperity. They want free trade, they want faith in God restored. That's what I wanted. So, final words. War is pointless, war is stupid. That's all. <laughs> Have a nice day everyone and Bok Pumaj is Vima.